Hi guys, my name is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I am doing just a little bit of a life update and to let you guys know that we are moving and kind of what our plans are and what we've been up to. So I'm very excited to keep you guys kind of in the loop on what's going on because I feel like I've been kind of absent on here somewhat. And there is big exciting things happening in our lives right now and it was actually really kind of sudden and unexpected. We thought we had a little bit more time for some of this stuff, but that's enough jabbering about that. Let's get right into this video. So if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll kind of already know what's happening because I've kept people a bit more updated over on Instagram. So if you want to see like day-to-day -day stuff, head over there because I do usually one post a day, and then I try to do several stories a day, kind of showing you what I do throughout the day. And so I have a bit more on this whole moving process that we've been going through over there. It's in the highlighted stories, moving 2021. So if you guys wanna see kind of the backstory on the moving, go check out those highlighted stories. My Instagram handle is Wilson Family Homestead. So we have been remodeling this house we are living in now for about three years now. We bought it, and it was our first home together. We were barely pregnant with our first child. We hadn't been married that long. It was such a fixer upper. It was bad. It was so bad inside. I'm going to insert some before pictures here so you guys can kind of see what it was like. But there was carpet in the kitchen and the bathroom with duct tape around the toilet. We found branches in some of the layers of flooring in the bathroom. And it was soggy and nasty and it, this house was, I don't know, almost unlivable. <laughs> I would not walk anywhere without shoes until recently. There was places in the kitchen floor where you could fall through, like it really needed some love. Which that is the kind of house we were looking for. We wanted something we could fix up. Obviously us being first time homeowners, that was the only house we could afford. So. We bought this house and we have been working really hard at it for the last three years. This is over a hundred year old house and it's, it really reminds me of like a farmhouse. So that is the style that we've been working towards with remodeling it and we are done. We finished remodeling this house, which feels so weird to be able to say that because when you've been working on something for so long, it's just, you're like, are you, are we really done? Like. That's crazy. I am currently working on filming a completed house tour for you guys. I've had so many requests for that. So keep an eye out for that video showing the entire house and the property outside. It's, it's really cute. This house is really my dream house. So it's hard to be leaving, but it was the plan to fix it up and then to sell it so that we can buy some land. So kind of the original plan was that we would have like another couple weeks. So maybe another month-ish we would list and then start looking for something else. Maybe live with Luke's parents in the in-between space of selling this and buying something else. But we ended up finding a house that was absolutely perfect. It was, let's see, last weekend? Has it all happened that fast? Yeah, it was just last weekend we found like pretty much our dream place. It's a little bit further than we'd wanna go and it's a little bit on the high end of our price range, but totally doable. And we are totally willing to drive a little farther for how much land it has. It's almost 10 acres and we really didn't think we'd be able to find that much land. We thought maybe we'll be lucky to get an acre, hopefully more, but 10, like it's nine and a half acres. So that's like amazing. and for that much land, it wasn't that bad of a price. So we were like, well, we gotta jump on this while it's still available. So we put, we went and looked at it. You know, actually, funny story. We weren't planning on doing this at all. I talked to my mom, who is our realtor actually, on Friday morning. I was like, I saw this house and it looks really cool. And she's like, yes, I just took some clients to look at that yesterday. And that would be perfect for you guys. And it got her thinking like, that's actually a really good price for that much land. And the house, it does need some work, which is why it hasn't already sold by now. It kind of freaks people out, the kind of houses that we are looking for. Because Luke has the capability of fixing things up. So we're like, floors falling in, who cares? So we went and looked at it that afternoon. 
And then we decided while we were still there that we were gonna put in an offer. And so that evening we put in an offer and the next day they accepted it. It's just contingent on ours selling, which was absolutely a God thing that they accepted that offer contingent on our selling. And that was before our house was even listed. We listed it like one or two days later. So that was, I feel like a sign from God that that is kind of meant to be because in this market, that's just kind of unheard of that they would accept it like that. So then starts all the work of finishing getting our house ready. There was still so much work to do. Like we just had like a lot of kind of junk around the outside just from carrying stuff out the house and just a lot of buckets that we've been using for gardening, just like stuff that's our stuff that's not that bad, but we just don't want it there for showings. So we rented a storage unit. We actually rented the storage unit a few weeks ago and we've been kind of slowly taking things. I had my sister-in-law and my mother-in-law come help me deep clean the house. So I was like, I just really need some help deep cleaning this house. And then once it's been deep cleaned, I can maintain it like that for showings which was the biggest help. I could not have done all that by myself in, it was, we had a day and a half to get it ready completely. It was a little bit of insanity. <laughs> I had my sister-in-law come help me kind of style stuff and, cause she's really good at interior design stuff. So we hung pictures in different places and rearranged the furniture and just decided where everything should go. And I gotta tell you, it is so cute in this house. I will, that will be in the full house tour, how we actually have it for showings. So make sure you keep an eye out for that because that's going to be so fun. So it is, as of now when I'm filming this video, it is currently listed. We just had the professional photography done, which I'll insert some pictures of the professional photography because it is amazing. It turned out so good. But I've just been kind of gone all the time for showings and it's been like a little bit of a hard thing to keep up on keeping the house this spotlessly clean with two little kids so that's been a bit of a challenge like i kind of feel like i should just go like live somewhere else until the house is sold just so that our house can stay this perfect but it's been okay i've been keeping up on it just fine we've had we had some showings and i usually will go over to my mom's I had the option of going to my, my dad's or to Luke's parents' house. So there's plenty of places I can go. It just feels weird being gone all the time and the kids don't do as well with it. They feel, I'm sure they are feeling all this weird stuff going on and they've been kind of been grumpier and I'm sure it's been hard on them because they don't really know what's going on. That would be kind of stressful as a little kid, all this change going on and you don't really know why. So we have some people that are very interested and I'm getting really excited that you know, I, I just hope that it all works out with us getting that house that we want. That's 10 acres because that is like, when we were there, it felt like home. Like it felt perfect for us, which I haven't felt about any of the other houses we've looked at ever. Because I've been feeling kind of sad about leaving this place because, you know, we've been here for three years. We've changed everything in this house that you can see. There's just a lot of memories here. We, we moved in. We didn't have any children yet. Both of our babies were born in this house. I can point out the spots on the floor where both my children were born, which a lot of people can't say. And I'm currently 20 weeks pregnant with our third, and I was starting to feel really sad about this baby not being born in the same place as its siblings were. And even though we really want more land and it's not really an option to stay here, I'm like, it's just an emotional thing, especially when I'm pregnant. But when we were at the other house, I was like, you know, this place could feel like home really fast. Like I could totally see myself having another baby here and we see us growing our family here. And Sophia just loved the place. She was running around and so happy and having so much fun. And like, like I can just picture it. Like it just felt right, if you know what I mean. Which we've looked at a few other houses since we've been close to being done with this one. We've looked at some other houses and I haven't felt that way about the other ones. But that one just felt like right for us. So I'm really excited about it and prayers would be appreciated that all of this just works out smoothly how we're hoping it will. But I'm just trying not to stress out about it because at this point we've really done everything we, we can do. We're just keeping the house clean for showings and I'm just praying that we'll, we'll work out. So anyway, that's kind of a quick little 
unscripted update. I just kind of rambled to you guys in this video. I don't have any notes or anything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed kind of hearing what's been going on with us lately. And I'm sorry I've been a little bit more sporadic with my videos lately, but hopefully once we get moved and things calm down a little bit, I can like start getting consistent with that again because it is just hard to film and our computer's been like in storage. So I'm having to edit on a laptop that's really slow. So it's just interesting. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.